Hello to everyone who participated in the Coast to Coast Hunger Awareness Campaign. Thank you so much for participating in this event and for fasting for 24 hours for the students at John Calvin Christian School. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about John Calvin Christian School right now and, and thank you for your efforts. So John Calvin Christian School is located in Barranquilla, Colombia, which is found in the northern part of Colombia on the Caribbean Ocean. And Barranquilla is a beautiful city with skyscrapers. Um, it's a large economic hub of Colombia. So each year in February, there's a large cultural festival and parades that happen there. And so it's also known as a cultural center of Colombia too. Behind the wonderful skyscrapers and the cultural festivities in Barranquilla, there's also large problems and, and social issues and, and there's poverty in the city as well. Now Barranquilla has about 2 million people in the city and it's one of Colombia's four largest uh, cities as well. So 21% of the population uh, lives in extreme poverty. That means they, be, they live below uh, the, the international poverty line. Uh, and so a large number of these people are Venezuelan refugees and we'll learn a little bit more about them a little later. So John Calvin Christian School, here you are in the, in the hallway of it and you can see it has three different levels and below that tree there is a large uh, soccer field, kind of a courtyard. It has 250 students and each student is precious and each life is important. These children, um, they range from pre-kindergarten up to grade 11 and their school year is from February to November, so the opposite of our school year. In the school, they can thrive and they can learn and grow in a Christian way, but outside the school, they face many different issues at home and in their communities. One of these issues this past year has been the increasing um, unemployment levels. Unemployment has increased 21% this year. Because of COVID, many people don't have good job security, meaning they lose their jobs, they lose their income. So many people struggle to find food like this family you can see here. A testimonial is from Daisy and Uranus. And Uranus is in grade eight at John Calvin Christian School. And Daisy says this, she says, because of the pandemic, um, it, it made me unemployed, which made our economic situation very difficult. Uh, I have to support two children who depend on me. And because we don't have income, we can't pay for the internet for the online classes that Uranus was taking part in. And it's also hard to supply the right nutritional foods that these children need as well. So thankfully, Conviventia, our partner who runs the school, they were able to support this family. The chaplain and the nurse um, were able to help in terms of their food needs and also um, economic needs so that the students could continue to learn throughout 2020 last year. So many families have faced this issue in John Calvin and they still face this, these problems even in 2021. Outside the school we also see this Venezuelan refugee crisis and this is a picture at the border between Venezuela and Colombia. 1.8 million Venezuelans have fled the country because of the disparity there into Colombia and many have fled into Barranquilla, the largest city close to the border. So please pray for these people as well. And we support many Venezuelan families through the school too. There's a large gang culture in Barranquilla, which we have to be aware of. And this causes many issues like teens joining gangs and getting involved in more crime. There's lots of substance abuse, starting with moderate drugs, but then they go more intense. Because this is a port city, there's lots of drug trafficking um, happening as well and so crime goes up. Surrounding them is domestic violence and this is when there is verbal or physical abuse to a family member from another family member. So these are these are really hard issues that these students are facing. But inside the school we hope that it is a place of of hope and learning that children can receive a Christian education both academically and also spiritually that the Lord would touch their hearts and that they would see that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior that has come to save them from their sins as well. 
Thankfully, there are about 30 different staff members that want to impress this upon the children as well. They want to see the children grow and learn more about the Lord. We're thankful for the students um, and the classes that are focused on spiritual development. Many of them learn ab about the catechism in grade five or six. And so we, we hope that they become leaders in their community. There's often food distributed to the students so that their nutritional, um, they receive nutritional food during the day so that they can study in the classroom better. So you've helped with this program and you've helped um, with the food packages given to many of the families in this past year. Now I'm gonna let you watch a quick two minute video on John Kelvin and I hope you can read the subtitles and learn a little bit more about the school. Mi nombre es Daisy Castelar, soy la rectora del Colegio Juan Calvino en Barranquilla. Eh, tenemos grados desde primera infancia hasta todo el preescolar, eh, primaria y básica secundaria. Ahora Helen me va a decir cuando a mí yo voy a pedirle algo a una persona. Yo le voy a decir, ay, dame eso, ¿cómo le digo? Por favor, por favor. Y cuando ya esa persona me da eso, yo qué le digo, gracias, gracias, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo le llamamos entonces? Bueno, la misión de la escuela es de formar eh, niños, niñas, es eh, una forma integral que al salir del colegio están haciendo esos líderes transformacionales que impacten con su vida, primero en el hogar, luego en la comunidad y luego en la sociedad, con una educación integral basada en principios y valores cristianos. Bueno, mi visión es eh, tener una mayor cobertura, poder ingresar muchos más niños que están descolarizados, de pronto están en el sector. Pues sueño con tener de pronto un lugar donde ellos puedan aprender también un arte, como tenemos en Cartagena los PTI, y puedan hacer sus microempresas y tener un respaldo económico para ellos salir adelante también. Que yo personalmente doy gracias a Dios, porque y he visto la bendición de Dios de conviviente no solamente en los niños, sino en nosotros los funcionarios. Unos vienen siendo cristianos, otros se convierten dentro del proceso de siendo docentes en el colegio. He podido compartir mi cosmovisión y tener libertad de enseñarle a los niños, a los padres, a los funcionarios de la Palabra de Dios con mucha libertad. Y a todos estos cooperantes, oro por ellos todos los días, por ese amor tan grande que aunque no son colombianos, todos los días ustedes se acuerdan de nosotros. Entonces eso es maravilloso porque nos une un solo Dios. Y aquí estamos y darles de todo corazón muchas gracias por todo lo que hacen por el Colegio Juan Calvino de Ranquilla. I hope that was educational for you and I hope you enjoyed that. So thank you so much for participating in this 24-hour uh, fast, this hunger awareness campaign. We appreciate it so much and, and the students and the families and John Kelvin, they appreciate you and, and your efforts in this as well. So continue to pray for John Kelvin Christian School, each and every student of the 250 and continue to, to think of them even after this fundraiser, but thank you so much for making a difference in their lives as well.